Hey guys, Taylor Atwell just released a package called Laravel Breeze which is a simple auth scaffolding for Laravel. I'll be installing it for the first time as I'm recording this video so let's give this a try and see what it does. From the docs we see that Laravel Breeze just provides a simple authentication system for your Laravel apps. This package is a lightweight, simpler version of Laravel UI that uses Tailwind instead of the Bootstrap. It has no presets like React or Vue yet, but that may change in the future. If you need more features like two-factor authentication for example, then you probably need Laravel Jetstream or Laravel Fortify and build your own UI components yourself, as I did in Laravel Fortify series. The link to that series is in the description, so if you're interested, uh, check it up. I have this plain Laravel 8 app uh, that's running in a Docker container. So let's go ahead and add the uh, Laravel Breeze to this. So if we switch over here, we need to compose a require Laravel Breeze. So let's go ahead and do that. Next, uh, while it's uh, installing that, we need to run PHP Artisan Breeze install. And this basically will just uh, create some of the files like Tailwind configuration file and view files and controllers. So if we go over to the repository and we see the stubs here, these are all the stuff that will be uh, generated for us. So we need to run PHP Artisan Breeze install. And we see that it was installed successfully. And then next we need to run npm install and npm run dev. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, great. So let's close this out. Let's open the project files. And we see the tailwind configuration file here. We can confirm that the resources were generated as well. And these are customizable. It's your file, so you could change it to whatever you want. Uh, this is the dashboard. It uses the blade components. And we have all these necessary controllers for the authentication. Now, if we open the web routes file, we have this default route that just uh, renders the welcome view that comes with Laravel installation. And then we have this dashboard uh, route that renders the dashboard uh, for the logged in user. And then it imports all these uh, additional routes, which is just for registration, login, for logout, forgot password, verify email, and so on. So let's test it out. So I'm going to switch over to this. And we see the login register here, so we can click login. So let's enter some user info and it's going to give us credentials don't match uh, error because we don't have any users. Let's go ahead and register. So if we go back to the home page, we can click the register here. I'm going to use the form filler. Let's register and it logs us in and this is the default dashboard and you have this nice uh, simple lightweight or scaffolding that you could uh, build your application on. So you don't need to use Laravel Jetstream, you don't need to use Fortify, you don't need to use Laravel uh, UI. If you just want to use uh, Blade and Tailwind, this is the package for you. However, if you want to use something that has more features like two-factor authentication and team management and so on, then Jetstream might be something that you need. And if you don't want to use Livewire or Inertia, then you want to probably use Laravel Fortify. And I have a series about it, how to implement Laravel Fortify features within the SBA. This is it. I'm sure that there will be more changes to this. Taylor also mentioned that he's working on something called Laravel Sale. Uh, we don't know what that is yet. And once uh, that's released, I'll make a video about that as well. Thank you for watching. Please hit like and subscribe and I will see you on the next video.